Game Dev Tycoon. Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this return to Game Dev Tycoon, where we had a slight hiccup and have needed to switch back to where our save game was. We are playing as Mordcorp, obviously. We've just moved into this new office. Uh, we have got 1.7 million in the bank, which is really quite nice. And yeah, we're going from there. So industry professionals say that Nordmead is one of the rare games that sets a quality standard for future games. Yeah, we just had a like really massive hit, which is an excellent way to start the next phase. So here we go. We first of all need to take the training for staff management so that we can hire the next person. Let's begin on that. And then we will need to hire a second player. Hey, Donna. Yes, you can make a suggestion. Today, the new platform by Gameling by Ninvento has been released. Wow, we're that far back. Crikey. Question, did I make Pong or Doom in the garage? Actually, neither. The massive, massive hit that we just had was, in fact, a cooking simulator. <laughs> Of all the things to make millions off of, we made a 9.75 cooking sim called Nordmead. Hey Fishy, got to create a great ET game. I'm not sure that anyone can create a great ET game. And actually, speaking of great things, Quain, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. And Tintuna coming in with an eight-month Twitch Prime resub. Thank you very, very much for that. I'd focus on R&D. R&D isn't available yet. We're still in like a really, really early one. Anyway, we've just finished the training. So now we need to start thinking about what kind of person we want to employ. And thinking about this, last time we went with the extra designer, which was a good choice. But I think actually what I want is the programmer so that I can focus on the design. So we're going to do complex algorithms. We'll spend 100,000. I feel like I spent too much on hiring people last time, so we're going to spend 100 grand on doing that. And then we are going to train ourselves in something. Don't repeat yourself. Don't repeat yourself. Let's get a little bit of extra speed. Am I mostly making P games for PC? I'm making games for everything and anything. Research everything. I was trying to do that, Dana, but I kept on running out of research points. And then when I had loads of research points, I had no money. All right, so 21,000 a month. You're very expensive, although you're already a level two. Your speed leaves a bit to be desired. Your research is appalling, but you do have a decent tech level. You are much faster. Not as good a tech, but you are a bit more of an all-rounder. And you're also a lot cheaper. And then Diego is amazing at technology, but you're way too expensive for us right now. So I am leaning towards Timea Habori. Yeah, having a 293 speed is going to be very, very nice. Because that's almost as good as what we are. So we're going to do that. Famous. Hire someone famous. Oh. Apparently this is a famous person. And we can now research medium games, which we definitely can't do yet. You're going to be trained. You're going to get your staff welcome. I feel like I need to look up who this person is. Timea Habori. Uh, let's open a new tab. Timea Habor Tabori. Is an engine programmer rock star. Interesting. So, we've got a famous person. Huzzah! So famous you need to Google them. Well, if it's not like Will Wright or Sid Meier, I probably don't know who they are. Hi boss, I have a knack for security and I think we could really do some upgrades. I've done some research and I think with an investment of 50,000, we should be a lot safer than what we are now. Yes, invest that. Right boss, get on it. 
And we've spent 50,000. I'm going to wait again with just doing research. Sorry, not research. I'm going to wait and do some training so that both of our efficiency is at maximum. Then we'll start churning out games again. With a growing interest in the video games, there is a growing audience for video game magazines. These mags offer a great new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. New research available, marketing. So, let's do one more training. Let's get you, don't repeat yourself, so we can get our speed up to 300 as like a baseline. And then we can start training you to be better at your jobs from there. And then we'll train ourselves. Game dev gems. That should make me better at game development itself. Have the mobile version of the game, it's very good. I didn't even know there was a mobile version. Someone was talking about that earlier, actually. You're at full efficiency. You've hit 300. Perfection. And there it is. Okay, so we are going to develop a new game. We're going to use the Wrangle engine, because it's the only one we have available right now. And we've just done a history strategy. I need to remember where on earth we were. So we did the cooking sim, which was Nord Mead, which is what pushed us over the edge. And then Space Vikings was Space Sim. There it is. Viking Kings was the uh, strategy history game. Yeah, we just did like a chain of really good games, actually. Top sales rank first. That's pretty good. <clears throat> this only cost me 31,000 to make. Crazy. How much of the Vikings was the expedition? Uh, we could do the expedition adventure game. Oh yeah, Space Vikings is the one that did actually surprisingly poorly. And then the other thing which is available is developing on the game link, which we haven't actually done yet. It'll cost us 50000 for the license, but it does have a 32% market share, which is kind of huge. So let's do that. Let's pick a topic. Do we have superheroes yet? We don't. What's going to be good for youngsters? Something abstract? Nord Mead is top in sales, go figure. I think we may actually need to try and get a little bit more research done. Because the next topic would in fact be superheroes. Yeah, we badly need that. So if you start working on superheroes, you can get one more set of training done, which is going to be make me think. Just so we unlock what the actual bonuses are. Right, game dev chems is actually tack and design. The game design for pirates is the design bonus. Make me think as research. Coding completes programming. Let's get you some more programming. Vayner, the creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vayner Gear, a portable console to directly compete against the Gameling from Ninvento. A spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vayner Gear has basically got the full power of the Master V. Except, you can take it with you. The Vayner Gear also has a full colour screen. Will this topple the device the Gameling? We shall see. The Vayner Gear will debut in two months. So we kind of want to release whatever game we make within the two months. So you're halfway done. Can we do like a really fast contract? Three weeks, pretty quick. I think that's going to be quicker though. Yeah, this was a good, this was a good move. And you can drop in one or two bubbles, or you know, not. New game, young, pick topic, superheroes, genre, action, platform, gameling, engine, wrangle. And then this is going to be Captain Viking, I believe is what we called it last time. And we're going to go version 2, 2D graphics. Because we still don't know what 3D graphics are. 
Okay. Hey, Mouse Gunner, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome to all of the Mouse Gunner fans. Hello! We are currently making games. We are currently making Captain Viking, a superhero action game for the brand new Gameling, aka the Game Boy. So, what are we doing for this? This is an action game, so we need good engine, needs decent gameplay, and story and quests, not hugely impactful. Today, the new game platform, Vayner Gear by Vayner, has been released. That was a quick two months. Stage two. Uh, AI is apparently very important for action games. Level design, less so. Dialogue, even less so. So I think we're going to focus very heavily on AI. Right, and I can't actually do marketing yet. Which is probably a good thing. And then finally, I think these... No, world design can still be pretty high. Graphics and sound, I think, is going to be very important. Especially for as it's a game for kids. That's a facet I had not really considered previously, but I think it's definitely very true. Watch those bugs. There we go. This is like the opposite to how our team used to work. We used to be amazing at design, but now we're technical wizards. The first Doom was actually 2D, just look 3D. Yeah, exactly. I wonder what company Ninvento could could be. I, I mean, it's a, it's a massive, massive mystery. So our 2D graphics just got better and our AI just got better. So let's go ahead and release that. First reviews have come in. Good game. Seven. Eight. Played it for days. Eight. Very good. Eight. Love it! Okay, so that one rated pretty good. We're going to get you to generate the game report. 7.75, that's pretty decent. And... Do I want to train myself in something else? Let's do game design for pirates. Although you'll finish that off pretty quickly. Well, you can do research after this. What's your research skill like? I should probably have done the research myself rather than training. That was a mistake. In two months, the G64 will be taken off of the market. Let's take a look at this. Superheroes and action is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important to this type of game, which I didn't realise. And then gameling action is okay. Only okay? Interesting. Additional insights. Timir Habori is still new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. Cool. So. Let's have you... Just want to see what your research is like. Actually, your research isn't terrible. So, I'm still going to train you. And I think I want you to be even better in technology. So we'll get you coding complete. Then once we're done here, we'll go and research something. So what's available? Medium games? I, we're not big enough for that. Casual games, though, we could do. We'll get a new topic, which would be mythology. There are a couple of things with mythology that we could do. Let's do casual games. I suspect that casual games will do quite well on the game link. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today as Govador, the creator of the popular G64, has filed for bankruptcy. Govador failed to introduce a higher price alternative and was forced to shut down production of the G64. The platform will retire from the market early next year. And you two should finish at roughly the same time. Just now. New game. So we are going to wrangle gameling casual 
So what's going to go well with casual? Abstract? Cooking? I think we'll do a casual abstract game. What's the name for a casual abstract game? And this is going to be for youngsters. Oh, the abstract casual game we did last time was Mortris, wasn't it? And it did terribly. Well, let's see if we can do better with Mortris. We'll go with the 2D graphics. See how this does. G64 is no longer supported. Okay, so what's going to be important for a casual game? Gameplay, almost certainly. Engine, less so. Quest and story. That story we can turn off completely. Save ourselves 10 grand. I mean, this is going to be a very cheap game to develop, if nothing else. Stage 2. I think level design is going to be very important here. AI, probably less so. Same with dialogue. I'm trying very hard not to go as extreme this time. Seems that market responds particularly well to games with new topics at the moment. Okay, good to know. And then stage three, graphics and sound. I think we can just leave that as it is. Do it. Oh no, it seems that Captain Viking had quite a few undiscovered bugs when it was released. Some of our customers are having a bad time and they demand that we patch it. We could either spend the money and the time to patch it or ignore their pleas. If we want to patch the game, then click on the character and use the action menu to develop it. But we should be sure that we don't wait too long. We'll wait until this is released at the very least. Three. One. Come on, one more. There we go. Finish. Experience gained. Engine, gameplay, level design, graphics, sound, and I leveled up. Yay! New research available. Better user experience and level editor. So let's have you develop that patch. Here come the reviews. Six. Casual games work well on the gameling. Nice experience. I feel like this did a lot better than Mortris last time. Mortris I think was like a 4%. Six. Six. Okay. Focus on level design served this game very well. I like it. Nice experience and casual games work well on the game link. Well, let's go and make a game report so we can see exactly how this did. And then research. And as much as I want to start working on these, I think the new topic is going to be the most important. Let's go and get mythology done. There's the patch. I think we're going to wait until this is finished and then we'll start designing something. Oh no, you're getting tired. Uh, after this game, you can go on holiday. So we're going to do a new game. This is going to be for everyone. We are going to do mythology. What kind of mythology game do we want? No, I don't miss them, I just don't like the news ones I already know. This one, sure, I did miss. I kind of wish this automatically popped up. Abstract and casual is terrible. Clearly you don't know the mobile market. <laughs> Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. World design does not seem to be important. Platform, audience match. Gameling, young, great. Topic, audience match, okay. So, young people don't like abstract, apparently. Mythology RPG. So that would be like Titan Quest. So I think that's going to be for everyone. Mythology. RPG. Platform. We're sticking with the gameling just because oh, that market share is incredible. And game engine's still going to be the wrangle. Names! I need a name! What are we going to call this? Mordred Quest.
Mord of War. Mord of War is quite good. Mordron. Mord of War, I think, is better. I think we've already got a Mord of the Rings. Age of Mord Quest. I quite like Mord Quest. But Mord of War, I think, works the best. And this is still going to be a 2D graphics. Off we go. So, gameplay we know is important for an RPG. Stories and quests are also going to be very important, and the engine far less so. Oh no! We forgot the linear story! Disaster! We got an RPG without a story. <laughs> Oops. Uh, dialogue, very important. Level design, not so much. AI, not swell. Let's leave those two about the same. I can tell this is already going to be a disaster. Now watch this be the biggest hit we've ever done. World design is very important. Graphics and sound, less so. You can trash the game, but you can only do that when it's done, can't you? Yeah, you can only do it when it's done. I'm actually getting a lot of points into it, so it's not terrible. We'll see how it does. New record in terms of design. New topic, new combo. Dialogues leveled up. World design leveled up. 2D graphics leveled up again. Better dialogue, open world, 2D graphics version 3, 3D graphics version 1. So I think that this is the point where we want to start working on a new engine. I'm going to send you on holiday, though. And apparently I can't start doing a game report until the reviews are out, weirdly enough. This game makes no sense! What's going on here? We have an RPG without a story, and it's doing amazingly. <laughs> and you wanted me to trash this. And the games which I'm convinced are going to do well, do awfully. And for some reason the cooking uh, simulation is still the best game I've ever made. How on earth did this succeed? Like if it was an open world game or something like that I could get it, but it wasn't. Right, research. I'd really like to start getting some marketing done, but also I don't think it's particularly worth it. Three D graphics, definitely. You're back, excellent. You can start researching open world. Another memorable game by Mordcorp has been released. The term dialogue tree doesn't really do Mord of War Justice. This game has a dialogue forest, in a good way. Simply one of the best games I've ever played. Mythology and RPG is a good combo. Engine seems to be not important. Platform genre match, gameling RPG, good. Platform audience, gameling everyone, good. Alright, you've done that. Better UI. I mean, I really want to squeeze in the better dialogues as well, but I think we need to squeeze out one more game, and then we can do the uh, the upgrade. Veno has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Veno Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Dialogue for us and no story, so a lot of talk without a coherent plot. I guess it's... Like an open, it's like a super early open world game before open world was a thing. 
Bender said in the announcement, the Oasis is a new start. It will be a genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well on the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest it will appeal to more mature audiences. Don't like leaving people with no work, but I think we kind of have to there. All right, new game. I have more money than now than I have ever had. Well, up to this point. New topics are still the best. I think we still haven't done an expedition game. So let's try an everyone expedition adventure on the game link. Using the wrangle. Because at the moment I'm just trying to get research. Alright, what should we call this? The Viking Trail? Because we already got March of the Vikings, which was the Expedition RPG. Finding Mordred. <laughs> That's such a good name that, yeah, we're going with that. Stick with those. Okay, let's do this. Story. We're, we're having a story this time. Um, gameplay probably slightly less. I would guess something like that. Then this one, dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence. I think AI needs to be a lot less, maybe a little bit more level design. Something along those lines. Game off the market, Mord of War is now no longer being sold. Finding Mordred, world design, very high. Graphics and sound, less so. I think we can basically just continue with this. Getting some bugs here at the late stage, crikey. Get those fixed. It seems the market has normalized again without particular strong trends at the moment. Today, the new game platform, Vena Oasis by Vena, has been released. Not really good design. Story quest leveled up. Release it. Simple cutscenes done. See how the game did. The first reviews for the newly released game, Finding Mordred, have come in. Uh oh. Fun at stages. This is not good. Has its moments. It'll pay for itself. It was cheap to develop. Could have been better. But it's not going to be a massive money spinner. Focus on world design served the game very well. Well, could you please tell me why? And then you do me some research. I mean, I'd like to get both simple cutscenes and better dialogues. I'd really like to get the level editor as well. Maybe we'll do a contract to see if we can get some more uh, research. Although this does also generate research. Maybe that's going to cover us. May well do. Game report. Expedition adventure is a good combo. Dialogue seems to be very important this type of game. Uh, platform genre match. Gameling adventure. So, gameling's terrible for adventure games. And expedition everyone is great. Okay, that's interesting. And then you go ahead and research simple cutscenes. Yes, we are going to have enough. And then we can start building the new engine. Research... Level editor. 